from the time I was nine years old. In fact, earlier now my father played a little guitar, and I wanted to play guitar. I wanted to. Uh, in fact, actually, I wanted to. I wanted to be a saxophone player. Is what I wanted to be. But unfortunately, there were no saxophone players locally, no teachers locally, and uh, the nearest one would be uh, in Newark, New Jersey, which is a, a major metropolis outside of Kearney, uh, but that would require taking a bus and going, and so I, my parents thought I was too young to be doing that on my own, so my father said, why don't you, kind of, we have a guitar in the house, why don't you fool around with that and learn how to play that first, you know, and I fell in love with it, got it, and that, and that's what I spent my uh, early career doing. I knew, I think, I really knew at that age I wanted, to, I wanted to be a musician. Why was that? Well, because my father had a lot of recordings in the house. He had a lot of uh, ranging from uh, Caruso records, Enrico Caruso, the great opera singer, to Louis Armstrong, and to uh, the fabulous uh, uh, Django Reinhardt, the French guitarist with the Hot Club of France. and. My first real uh, inspiration, Eddie Lang, who was the guitarist with Bing Crosby, whom I used to s used to listen to on uh, on the radio. He was uh, Bing Crosby's accompanist. But that I say that was uh, having hobbies in school. No, in fact, even in high school, I was I was very uh, interested just in music. I was a member of the dance band, member member of the orchestra, member of the symphony orchestra. 